Permanent Error by Peter Hugo has the distinction of being the one book that I own that still haunts me to this day. It's centered around Agbogbloshi, which is an e-waste processing center near Accra in Ghana. The book shows page after page of discarded western goods that have, more often than not, illegally landed on Ghana's shores. The discarded waste that finds its way there is burned to salvage whatever precious metals are left, and the thick black acrid smoke reaches far into the sky. Permanent Error features a fantastic epilogue written by Jim Puckett, which forced me to face a new question in my life, where is a way? As in, when you throw something away, where does it finally end up? I found the images in this book to be striking, partly because of the absolute destruction of what used to be a fertile riverbed, which is now littered with waste and pollution, but also partly because of the children who risked their lives by inhaling these toxic fumes, and also partly because, at the root of it all, as a westerner, I can't help but feel partly responsible. It's all too easy for us to throw something away and trust that it may be properly disposed of or properly recycled, but business is business. and. Peter Hugo's stark images show us where our floppy disks, computer monitors, refrigerators, and other electronics that we throw away actually finally meet their end. If not sold in the markets in Accra, these items are destined to be burned for their precious metals. It's a risky endeavor given that by burning these items and inhaling the chemical fumes, these children are putting their own lives at risk. And for what? To pay to feed themselves, to pay to feed their families, just to survive. The images in Permanent Era are fantastic, and the print and bind quality is just beautiful. It's a perfect size, and the simple layout adds perfectly to the subject matter by directing the focus to the all-important content in each of Hugo's shots. It's easy to ignore something by simply stating, I didn't know about it. But now, thanks to Permanent Era, we have seen it, and we do know about it. And the question now is, where do we go from here?